Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful attacking game for you played by the leading American chess player Harry Nelson Pillsbury. His opponent was an amateur chess player and the game was played in 1900 in Toledo, Ohio. And at that time Pillsbury was playing 12 games of chess and 4 games of checkers without sight of any board while simultaneously playing duplicate whist with other people. Now let's see how this game went on. Pillsbury started with d4 and d5 by black, knight f3, e6, e3, knight f6, bishop d3, knight d7, white castles kingside, b6, knight d2. Pillsbury is setting up the color system, a very solid opening which gives white good chances of not losing against a stronger player. Now white is preparing e4 and after bishop d6 we see e4 on the board. d takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop b7, knight takes d6 check, c takes d6, bishop f4. So far so good, black was playing accurately, but in this position black made a mistake and captured on f3. Well actually not a good idea, black is giving up his active bishop on b7. It was better to play queen c7 protecting the pawn on d6. By the way, d5 is not a good idea because of this bishop d6 not allowing black to castle king's side. We will see a similar line in the game. After bishop f4 we see bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, d5 and there it goes we see bishop d6. This dark color bishop is not allowing black to castle king's side and now black is in trouble. Rook c8, Rook e1, Rook c6, Bishop a3, still the Bishop is controlling this diagonal. a5, but now comes c4 using the fact that the pawn on d5 is pinned. Knight e4, c takes d5, Knight g5, of course if a move like e takes d5, then after Bishop takes e4, d takes e4, Queen takes e4 check, Rook e6, Queen c6, Black is in trouble. The threat is rook takes e6 and it's very difficult to find a good continuation for black. Let's go back. That's why after c takes d5 black played knight g5, queen g3, rook c8 and d takes e6. The pawn from c to square suddenly appears on e6. Knight takes e6 and now you can pause the video and try to find Pillsbury's next moves. Ready? Well, as you can see, the king is stuck in the center of the board and now Pillsbury is just going to use that fact. First, he's playing rook takes e6 check, removing the defender and after f takes e6, he went for this mind-blowing queen g6 check. By the way, bishop g6 is also winning, but this queen g6 just looks spectacular and after h takes g6, we see this amazing bolden mate on the board. Look at this fantastic position. Hard to believe, but yes, this was played during a blindfold simul. Pillsbury was truly one of the greatest simultaneous players in history. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck.